Namaste, I am Dr. Deepthi Sharma from the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology working at Amrita Hospital, Faridabad. In this video, I am going to talk about psychological changes associated with menopause. Menopause is an important transition in a woman's life which involves a lot of changes in the body, not only at the physical level, but psychologically also. As the life expectancy of women is increasing, a lot of women are going to spend a considerable part of their life in the phase of menopause, almost one third of their life. This is the transition from reproductive potential towards aging. So one should understand that menopause is not a illness. It is a natural phase of life and should be accepted gracefully. How a woman takes up depends upon the mental makeup of the woman, the, the cultural differences and the climatic conditions where they are living. So a response can be entirely normal and accepting aging. Some women take it positively in the sense that they don't have to fear for an unplanned pregnancy anymore because the ovarian function has ceased. They are also free from the burden of pain medication, irregular and heavy menstrual bleeding. Now, other person can take it to be negatively with the fear of loss of femininity, loss of sexual activity and the fear of aging. So, let us see what all psychological changes um, or in ch changes in the psychological milieu can happen in and around menopause. The commonest one is it's a, in the tendency to get to get uh, into irritable mood, mood swings, and getting anxious. Some people can get have a depressive tendency, feeling of sadness. Also, equally common is a tendency to feel fatigue, lack of concentration, which is associated during. In the, in the day to day activities. Some people can get into aggressive mood and can become short tempered. All of these mental changes can further be complicated by sleep disorders. There is a reduction in sleep, and the quality of the sleep can be hampered because of hot flushes, night sweats and it forms a vicious circle. An inadequate sleep gives rise to mood disorder and a mood disorder um, affects the sleep. So what is the solution? So I am going to give a few tips. Before you get into a pharmacological therapy for menopause, one should try for psychosocial interventions. The best is to have lifestyle modifications, have exercise incorporated in your routine and a healthy diet. One should avoid smoking and alcohol which increases the um, uh, with the which which uh, which, uh, which aggravates all these symptoms. Another important is one should find self calming activities and should try to do yoga, meditation and rhythmic breathing. Since the active life is over, one can try find try using time to pursue their um, hobbies and passions which they were not able to do all this while. So one should try to give a positive impetus and engage in activities which gives a sense of achievement. Another syndrome is the emptiness syndrome where people start feeling uh, missing their children because especially seen around when the youngest child leaves home. One should seek medical aid if the symptoms are distressing and aggravating. So menopause is a natural phase of life. One should not be excessively worried or stressed out. Embrace aging with a positive outlook and age gracefully. Thank you.